Hey everybody, uh, welcome back to another movie review. I uh, hope you guys enjoyed my latest videos. Um, hope you guys are also enjoying some of these like separate content that I'm doing, like some of the non-collab videos. Hope you guys enjoyed those. Um, I just saw the little things um, on HBO Max, the latest in the HBO Max uh, saga of doing hybrid releases. Um, and, uh, well... This is an interesting one because I'm I'm of two minds of it because there's some stuff in there that I like and then there's some stuff in there that I'm still kind of trying to process on but I'll still I'm still gonna do a review because I I'm pretty clear on how I how I actually definitely feel about it but there are some things that I'm a little bit torn on and I want to ultimately see where you guys feel as well because there's some stuff in here that does work and then there's some stuff in here that does become problematic when I when I start really thinking about it more, but we'll just get into the review and s see where it goes. So, um, so the little things is directed and written, I believe, produced by John Lee Hancock. As you guys know, he did The Founder. He also did The Highwayman, uh, which I really didn't like. Um, he also did Saving Mr. Banks, I believe, uh, with Tom Hanks playing Walt Disney. Um, and uh, now he's doing The Little Things, um, which is a detective piece starring Denzel Washington, Jared Leto, Rami Malek, three Oscar winners. And uh, it shows the uh, unraveling of a particular mystery, um, you know, the typical de detective drama where it's a case from so long ago. And then this old guy or this guy from the past who has a connection from the case starts to unravel things, has a personal connection with the case, you know, like typical detective drama material. Um, but however, though, um, the reason why I was excited to see it was because of mainly the performances. I wanted to see how Denzel was going to do. I wanted to see how Jared Leto was going to do. And I will say Ralph right that well, one of the great things about Little Things is, in fact, the performances. I think Denzel Washington and Jared Leto, in particular, were both strong and respectively developed in terms of performances. I mean, that's where I think the development really comes in for both Denzel Washington and Jared Leto. Um, and I think they both really do a solid job here individually. Um, but in terms of the best component of the little things, it actually isn't the performances. It actually is Thomas Newman, the, the composer, because the score has like very interesting beats. It goes um, through like points of levity. It reaches certain depths. It has a very unique flavor and style, and it finds a great balance in between all those unique flavors that it tries to th throw in throughout the film. And it makes it distinct and that's what what makes it the best component of the film in my particular opinion is that distinct quality um, and that distinct um, style that really kept the film in terms of um, in terms of the score keeping it quite investing because one of the things that we will get into now which I'm a bit torn on is the narrative because the narrative itself, on paper, I will say, there is a good story here, and it, it does have enough investment to keep you interested. Um, it, it Pretty much what the story is, I won't spoil any context, but it's a story about guilt and how one deals with it and how um, how one tries to prevent guilt from, you know, passing it on to somebody else or something, you know, like guilt. It's a story about guilt. Um, with it being a detective story, obviously there's going to be an oddball of, of you know, like there's going to be that person that you always look at. And you're thinking, is that the person who did certain things? You kind of know who the oddball is. Um, they make it pretty obvious to you. You may not know why um, they are doing certain things, but they make it clear who is the person doing things behind the scenes. Um, and I'm not sure, honestly, if it was meant to be on purpose or not, on purpose or not, if we were supposed to know this information, because the film makes it kind of feel like we're supposed to know this information because the other big problem with the film I would say we'll get back to the narrative in a second but um, one of the other big problems that the little thing suffers from at least just again I literally just watched it so I'm just digesting it and one of the problems that I was feeling throughout the film is that the film kind of stumbles a lot it doesn't really find its footing as um, as well as the score or the performances do it kind of it kind of drips a lot to um, these ide these certain ideas, but it doesn't really um, uh, cement itself in this is what our story is about, or this is how we want our story to go. It just kind of feels like it's just kind of just, you know, just drifting and just moving, and 
it doesn't really feel like there's a, a big purpose to certain things, you know what I mean? Um, because the other thing that didn't really help with that was the pacing. The pacing is pretty choppy. Um, a lot of points, it seems like it's pretty choppy. Um, and the dialogue, I have to say, is a bit of a hit and a miss for me. Sometimes it feels authentic, sometimes it feels right for each character, and then sometimes it feels like typical dramatic writing. Um, it's mostly driven by the performances. Without them, or them putting much effort, you begin to notice the cracks in the writing pretty early, I would say. Um, and it does take a page or two from Seven. I think you'll definitely hear a lot about that online, a lot of people comparing it to Seven. It does take a, a note or two from Seven. Um, there's one scene in particular where I was just like, please don't tell me this is how the movie's going to end. Um, if you watch Seven, you know what I mean. Um, when I, you, know, you know what I mean when I say that I was really hoping that the little things was not going to do the same thing um, as Seven did. Thankfully, they don't. They do, for, they do something a little bit different, which leads to back to my main issue, which is with the narrative. Um, there, th All the stuff that they present in the film is stuff that's interesting stuff. It's interesting ideas, and it's interesting um, material to grasp onto. The problem is that I feel that like the story doesn't feel justified. I feel like you're, you're, you, you, you leave feeling distant from the events and not as engrossed as it's pitching itself to be. Because there's really interesting ideas for, for Denzel's character, for Ryan Mogg's character, and the thematic idea of like guilt, um, being guilt driven by do, for doing certain, and doing certain things, um, to, to, uh, to, to cope with that guilt or to, uh, to finally, uh, get rid of such guilt from within yourself. Like I, it's interesting ideas. I just feel like the story doesn't, it just never felt justified to me because all the actions make sense. It's not like the story doesn't make sense to me. I understood the story perfectly fine. It's just that I didn't feel anything as much as I should have. And I think that's really the greatest weakness to the film is that it has all the components that it really needs. It has the performances, it has a good score. And on paper, there is something of worth merit to look at, but I just feel that the execution overall is what really kills this movie because I think John Lee Hancock just didn't have a great helm on this project. And it, it really shows because I feel like if this was in the hands of a different director, I feel like we really could have gotten something quite special here. Um, because while the performances are strong individually, I, well, Ryan Malik, just to, just to talk about him real quick, I'm a bit of a 50-50 on Ryan Malik as a performer in general. I liked him as Freddie Mercury to a point. But in general, I find him to be a 50-50 overall. And in this movie, I, I, he was definitely the weak link in my particular opinion. Um, I definitely think Denzel and Jared were the better com uh, of, the, of, the, of the three. Rami was definitely the weak link. Um, but still fine. I would say I say it was still fine in the film. But, um, but as I said, while the performances are strong individually, and on paper its narrative is interesting to explore and see play out, its execution provides less less emotional impact and you ultimately leave more cold and empty. And that's not how good detective stories should leave you. Unless you're Chinatown. And this is definitely no Chinatown. But I would be lying if I said I didn't enjoy what I just watched. At face value, at least. Even with the problems that it does obviously bear.